My YouTube delicious people, it's Gallon here from Carphonics yet again on a uh, Monday afternoon, actually Monday evening. It's been one of those days today. Um, my buddy Chris, Pug One as you guys all call him, was here all day today putting this drain in the floor. Um, you guys saw the drain uh, previous to, and some of you guys were saying, you know, oh this and that, and you know, it's fucking, shouldn't do that, and you know, might want to get done professionally. I mean, his dad's a professional concrete layer. And, uh, you know, this is the most cheapest and economical way of putting this drain in. And I think he did an absolutely bang up job. That, uh, per, like the, the bronze stuff you're seeing here is PL. And it's been PL'd into place. 12 tubes of the big stuff later. Look, look at these tubes, they're huge. 12 tubes it took to fill that. But they did an incredible job. You guys will see his video later on, I'm sure. And uh, so that's been going on today. And I mean, it's just been a slurry mess. I mean, some of it's still reminiscent around the uh, around the drain here, but it's not 100% dry, so we gotta wait a couple days for that sucker to get nice and dry, and then uh, we can wash the floors, and uh, it'll like, be like it never even happened. So today, we got a 1997 Chevrolet 1500 series pickup truck. It's a little bit dirty, but this thing is in immaculate condition. It's a uh, really good shape, actually. So we did a uh, four channel amplifier in this along with a, uh, I can't get this seat open, of course. Of course I can't, oh, there it goes, done. You guys can see that there. Did a uh, four channel amplifier mounted on the back wall, along with some uh, four inch speakers in the back. The whole back wall here has been dynamited. Here, let me get a light. Let me shine some light on this situation real quick because uh, you guys can't see anything that I'm doing here. Shop's an absolute mess today. I guess if it was clean, we wouldn't be busy, eh? So I've got myself a light. So there's our four channel lamp. That was his amplifier that he wanted us to use. So that's fine. We uh, ran some marine grade four gauge power cable along with some nine conductor and some nice marine grade RCA, four channel RCAs there. Did uh, some four inch speakers, JLTRs. As you can see the hush mat there, the dynamat. Dynamated the, all the speakers in in the back. Uh, including the back wall here, which I'll try to get an image of. You guys can see that back there, the shininess. There it is. And now we're working on the front. He did a uh, KDC 399 hedge unit in the dash. This thing's only got uh, 180,000 original kilometers on it. Got this side door panel off. We're working on the last stage of this, uh, the audio system. So I'll, sh I'll show you that now. So we put uh, speaker baffles in trucks Kind of keep the uh, the moisture and stuff out of the speaker and uh, this one here has been flush mounted into the door panel so i'll show you that check that out here these are uh, jl c2 components we'll be mounting the tweeters up in the a pillars there so i'll show you that as well and these speaker baffles really help a lot they uh these are made by a company called uh, etc or ctx whichever one you want to call it I think it's uh, XTC, and uh, basically it's just a foam, foam, foam speaker baffle. Keeps the uh, the moisture and things out of the speaker, and it creates an enclosure for the speaker to work more efficiently in the door. So that way uh, you can get some more mid base out of the doors. We'll also dynamat and hush mat around this area and on the door panel, and that'll get uh, some nice mid base out of that. Got our A pillar here, and we'll mount the. Put a tweeter pod right here, flush, not flush, sorry, externally mounted right here with our tweeters and the JL logos there, if you can see that. Very nice. These are in the package right now. So yeah, a little bit of an update video there. Still have the Mini. The Mini is still here. Uh, we are currently working on the brakes, getting those all situated. Had these calipers all rebuilt by CarQuest. They look beautiful. New pins, new pads, new rotors. Everything is looking good there. And we'll be doing some new bushings on this lower control arm there. All the wiring's done underneath of the hood here. Everything's good, looking beautiful. Runs like a top. Just gotta get the bracket made for the uh, the choke up front there. I figured that out. With the thanks uh, to some of you guys, I really appreciate your help there on YouTube, I tell ya. YouTube's a really good source for uh, information and uh, you guys have helped out a lot, especially that VW guy, I forget what his name is on there, but he uh, really pointed to me in the right direction, so that's pretty cool. Thank you very much, appreciate that. 
Uh, he's got a new carpet for this thing here, so that's good. Uh, we also have to do some rear control arm bushings on this thing. Here's a box of parts right here for it. Got some masks, because I tell you that's uh, dust today. So rear control arm bushings are here. The fronts are there as well, right there. And we got some new, I think these are ball joints. Yeah, these are ball joints here. Got some new ball joints for the front. So this thing will be in pretty much tip top shape. Got some old parts here. These are the old caliper pistons. They were completely dinked. They were seized right in there. So they put new pistons in the calipers for us. So that's the box there. So pretty pleased with this installation here. I can't be happier with it. Um, other than it's bronze, I would have preferred like black or red or I don't know. I'm just weird like that. You guys know that. It's kind of weird. Can't help it. So I'll get a little zoom in there. At the end of the thing, I have to, that's why the grate's still out here. I have to cut the end off here on a particular angle right there so I can get this grate back in place right here. Put that in there and just saw it off on a L, you know, L ingo there and just you know plop that over place and done it's tacky to the touch at this point but can't really uh, drive over it or wash the floors Nicole from Divas Detailing has uh, swept up a little pile here but we've got to get this pressure washer going in a couple of days and get things going there so anyhow just thought I'd show you that I didn't say that too many times this time did I did I say that too many times I, don't, I can never help myself I always say that I'll just show you that I'll just show you that now and I'll show you this and but uh, yeah, so anyways, it's a, it's, a, it's a Monday, it's a Monday, and um, happy to be here, happy that things are being done, things are getting done around here, things are picking up, which is really nice, I tell ya, February's a really depressing month, and hopefully none of you guys have killed yourselves, and uh, appreciate you guys watching. So don't uh, forget to rate, subscribe, and uh, watch some more of my videos. I'm gonna be doing some more videos, I'm not really too sure, um, but, I want to do some more videos, like maybe they're like more edited videos, you know, without my phone, because I use my phone for these videos all the time, and it, you know, it works pretty good, it doesn't look too bad, but I think uh, I might want to get some videos that are really edited, in, in like, you know, you guys watch Mighty Car Mods, or you watch, uh, you know, regular car reviews, you guys watch all those videos, uh, rambling around, he's got some pretty cool videos too. And I figured uh, I should try maybe getting my camera out and making more of an effort of my videos and getting them edited. But that takes so much damn time. And I tell you, you know, using my freaking laptop to do this just takes hours out of my day. And I mean, you guys see the place here today. Not that I worked that hard today. I just sat around and watched everybody else work. But, you know, that's the pleasure of owning a business. So go fuck yourself. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.